Hey there! Welcome back to our little chat session. I'm Mike, and this is my buddy Jake. We both love to talk about the ups and downs of everyday life, especially when it comes to those moments that catch us off guard. Today, we're diving into something we can all relate to dealing with unexpected guests. But before we jump in, we'd love to hear from you. How do you handle unexpected guests? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, so this just happened to me the other day, some friends dropped by without any warning. I was totally not prepared. How do you handle that, Jake? Oh man, that's always a surprise. I usually feel a bit panicked too. When the doorbell rings, my first instinct is to just freeze and hope they go away. But if I can't ignore it, I try to play it cool. What about you? Do you open the door or pretend you're not home? I usually end up opening the door, but I'm a ball of nerves. I mean, what if the house looks like a tornado hit it? I get that little rush of anxiety when I know my place isn't up to par. Do you find it hard to manage that? Totally. There's this weird balance between wanting to be a good host and freaking out about the mess. I mean, part of me is like, yeah, come on in. But then I'm panicking inside, thinking, oh no, the dishes are piled up. I've learned to just roll with it and keep it casual. If they're good friends, they won't care too much about the state of my living room. Exactly. Speaking of casual, what's your quick go to snack or drink for those surprise guests? That's a great question. If I have some chips and salsa lying around, that's always my first choice. It's easy and everyone loves it. If I'm really in a pinch, I might just grab whatever's in the fridge, like a cold beer or soda. How about you? I usually keep some frozen pizzas in the freezer. I can whip one up pretty quickly. But I feel a little guilty if I tell them I only have a few minutes to spare. Do you think it's rude to let them know you're a bit pressed for time? I don't think so. Honestly, if you're not feeling up to hosting, it's okay to be honest about it. I've done that before, just said, hey, I can hang out for a bit, but I've got to run soon. It's better than feeling like you're putting on a show when you're not in the mood. So true. I mean, sometimes, you just want some quiet time, you know? Do you ever feel pressured to entertain more than you want to? Definitely. It's tough sometimes. Like, I want to be a good friend, but I also don't want to feel like I'm hosting a party every time someone drops by. I've had friends who are super chill, and they get it when I'm not in the mood for a long hangout. It makes it easier. Right. And what do you do if they end up staying longer than you expected? How do you hint that it's time to wrap things up? Oh, that's tricky. I usually try to make it casual, like, hey, I've got a few things to do before the day wraps up, or sometimes I'll mention that I need to prep for dinner. It's a smooth way to hint without being rude. But if all else fails, I've been known to start cleaning up to drop the hint. Haha, <laughs> classic move. How do you juggle it if you have plans, but then someone shows up unexpectedly? That's the worst. I usually just try to be upfront. I'll say something like, hey, I have plans later, but I can hang for a bit. If they want to stay, I might set a timer in my head and then politely excuse myself. It's all about finding that balance, right? 
Exactly. Have you ever had an unexpected guest that turned out to be a great surprise? Oh, yeah. One time, a buddy of mine dropped by out of the blue, and it turned into an epic game night. We ended up playing video games and just catching up. Sometimes, the best memories come from those surprise visits. What about you? I remember a time when a friend dropped by and we ended up having a spontaneous barbecue. It turned into such a fun night. What's your take on surprise visits in general? Do you love them or would you rather have a heads up? Honestly, I think I prefer a little warning. I like being prepared, but I won't lie, when it works out, those surprise visits can be the best. Just maybe give me a heads up next time, right? Totally agree. It's nice to have a little control, but sometimes spontaneity is where the fun is. For sure. And honestly, sometimes those unexpected drop ins remind me to relax a bit and not stress about every little thing being perfect. It's just good to be in the moment, you know? Exactly. It's about embracing the surprise, even if your place isn't spotless. At the end of the day, it's the company that matters. Well, Jake, this was a fun chat. It's always great to share our experiences and strategies for those surprise visits. I appreciate your thoughts on all this. Thanks, Mike. I had a blast talking about it. And for all of you watching, we'd love to hear your stories about unexpected guests. What do you do when they show up? We can't wait to see your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more conversations like this.